So in this video, we will be talking about geometric sequences. So what are geometric sequences? A geometric sequence is a sequence of numbers where each term, after the first, is found by multiplying the previous one by a fixed non-zero number called the common ratio. The geometric sequence formula is a sub n, being the nth term or the term you were looking for, is equal to a sub 1, being the first term, multiplied to r, the common ratio, raised to n, the number of terms, minus 1. So here is an example of a geometric sequence. 5, 10, 20, 40, 80. But how exactly do we get the common ratio of a geometric sequence? All we simply need to do is divide the second term by the first term. In this case, 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. Now that we know that 2 is the common ratio, we can see that 5 times 2 is equal to 10, and 10 times 2 is equal to 20, 20 times 2 is equal to 40, and 40 times 2 is equal to 80. And that forms our geometric sequence. So now that we know the basics, let's try out some geometric sequence problems. Problem number one. Find the eighth term in a geometric sequence if the first term is seven and the common ratio is three. So before we start solving the problem, let's encircle our given. The eighth term, seven and three. So now that we have identified our given, we are going to plug it in into our formula, which is a sub n is equal to a sub one multiplied by r raised to n minus one. So once you plug it in, our equation will be a sub 8 is equal to 7 multiplied to 3 raised to 8 minus 1. Now let's evaluate our equation. 8 minus 1 is equal to 7. 3 raised to 7 is equal to 2,187. Multiply that to 7 and we have 15,309. That is our eighth term. To our second problem. Find the seventh term in a geometric sequence if a sub 2 is equal to 15 and a sub 5 is equal to 405. As you can see, our second problem does not identify the common ratio. That is the first thing we need to solve for. The first thing we're going to do is line up the equations. 405 is equal to a sub 1 multiplied to r raised to 5 minus 1 and 15 is equal to a sub 1 multiplied to r raised to 2 minus 1. Once we evaluate the equations, we are going to get 405 is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to 4. Then we will divide that by 15 is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to 1. The quotient of 405 and 15 is 257. We will then cancel a sub 1. And following the rule of exponents r raised to 4 and r raised to 1, we will subtract 1 from 4. Therefore, getting r is raised to 3. The equation we have now is 257 is equal to r raised to 3. To cancel the 3 out, we will get the cube root of both sides. We are now left with 3 is equal to r. That is our common ratio. Now that we have our common ratio, we are going to solve for the first term. We are going to put 15, which is the second term, is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by 3, the common ratio, raised to 2 minus 1. Once we evaluate that, we will have 15 is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by 3. Next, we will isolate a sub 1, therefore dividing 3 to both sides. 
15 divided by 3 is 5. 5 is our A sub 1 or our first term. Now that we have our first term and our common ratio, it will be easier for us to solve for the seventh term. From the equation a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r, the common ratio, raised to n minus 1, we will have a sub 7, the seventh term is what we are looking for, is equal to 5, the first term, times 3, the common ratio, raised to 7 minus 1. Evaluating that, we will have 5 times 3 raised to 6. 3 raised to 6 is equal to 729. 5 times 729 is equal to 3645. That is our 7th term. We are going to be doing an application or a word problem. If you pay 25,900 pesos, for a TV, its value depreciates by 6% per year. How much will it cost in 8 years? First, we are going to look for the 6% of 25,900 pesos. To do this, we are going to multiply 25,900 and 0.06. We will then have 1,554. Next, since the value depreciates by 6% per year, we are going to subtract 1,554 from 25,900. That will give us 24,346. Now we are going to be looking for the common ratio. Since we have a sub 2, which is 24,346, and our a sub 1. 25,900. As it says, we are going to divide the second term by the first term. 24,346 divided by 25,900 will give us 0 0.94, our common ratio. Now that we have our common ratio, it will be easier for us to solve for the eighth term. A sub 8 is equal to 25,900. The first term multiplied to 0 0.94. The common ratio raised to 8 minus 1. Evaluating that, we will have 25,900 times 0 0.94 raised to 7. 0 0.94 raised to 7 is 0 0.64847795.94. Multiply this to 25,900, we will have 16,795.57 pesos. That is the value of the TV after eight years, our eighth term. We are now going to be leaving you with practice problems. The first one is, what is the 10th term in a geometric sequence if a sub one is equal to 15 and the common ratio is three? The second problem is, what is the 11th term in a geometric sequence if a sub 3 is equal to 1,670 and a sub 6 is equal to 3,712,930?